I was in the grocery store the other day and I noticed how pretty poppy seeds are. Look at that. With some clear, beautiful product, I'm going to inlay them in the nail. Can you imagine? Something from your spice rack can look so gorgeous. I'm going to use a new product today I haven't used. I'm very excited. Let's get started. So the product I've chosen today is the Jimmy Gel. It's about a year. It's been out now and it's a builder gel in a bottle. That makes it easier to use, doesn't it, for some. So I thought I would play with that. I've also heard that the Jimmy Gel is very, very clear. And that's what we want when we're doing any type of inlay because we want to be able to see right through to the dimensions. So let's start building those nails. I've got the form here. Start playing with that. I've prepped my nails, everything's ready to go. And I'm just going to pop the form on. Now I do want to put the tact on, which is what we're going to use as a primer. It helps hold the gel onto the natural nail. But sometimes the uh, tack can go a little bit longer than the natural nail and you have to cure it under the light. So if it does that, I wanna make sure my form is already in place. Now because we're gonna put little fancy poppy seeds in there, I'm gonna do them on the longer side. So we get the advantage of our see-through design and we get to see that poppy seed right through. Let's just check it, make sure it's nice and snug. Yep, he's pretty happy. Okay, that's nice and snug. So now I'm gonna use the tack. Tack is like one of their bonders. I'll just do one nail and then I'll buzz through the other ones. So when you put this stuff on, just a little tip if you're using this product, you want to kind of like scrub it in. You want to make sure that it's in there. Sometimes you can put stuff on top, but it doesn't really kind of get in there. So you want to get it right in there. And you want to make sure you go over the whole thing right to the very edge. Okay, and I'm just gonna nuke it for 30. And being that I am using the Jimmy Gel product, I am using it compatible with the proper light. Make sure it cures. I really like the tone it has under there. I have removed the blue film, but it looks really pretty. So in this collection, Jimmy Gel, there are some beautiful pink colors. Even the natural is just gorgeous. But I'm gonna use the clear simply because I don't wanna waste it because I'm gonna cover some of the colors with their P Plus, I think they call the gel polish on top, all sorts of different colors. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the Jimmy Gel, but when you're using the Jimmy Gel, paint a thin layer on the area of which you want to build because that second layer of build will stick to the layer that you've created. What I mean is, get some on your brush and literally paint it. That's the whole advantage of it being on a brush, is you can take advantage of the gel right from the bottle to your nail, right off the brush. There you go. Just paint a nice thin layer. Okay, now I'm gonna pick some out of the bottle and I'm gonna start building. Now what I do love about this is that it is easy to apply because you're doing it right from the brush. Those of you may not be used to a potted gel. Now, I am not an expert with tons of years of experience with gel as I am acrylic. I mean, once you learn the structure of a nail and the importance of it and where it goes, and then it's all the same as far as no matter what you're applying on, you want that kind of structure. But I'm not as experienced with the gel, but I am getting much, much better at it. And the problems I had in the beginning was bubbles. I absolutely hate that. But the more you do it, the more you learn. And I is getting better. Now I'm just gonna look at it this way. Okay, I don't wanna make this thick because uh, this is just my platform of before when I put the poppy seed in. Now I also don't wanna cure that yet because I need that to be sticky and ready to go because if I cure it, it's gonna harden and I won't be able to do this part. So I'm just going to tap on a little bit here. And I, this is where I'm going to put my, my poppy seeds in.
little extra flavor, I'm going to put a tiny bit of glitter just to highlight those little poppy seeds. Just gives it a little bit of glamour. I do like the fact that the Jimmy Gel just sits there. It's not running everywhere. Once I'm happy with the position of the poppy seeds, I'm going to nuke it. Okay, now I get to just build the nail. But I'm going to show you on the sideways so I can show you how low the profile is. See that? Look how low that is. We haven't built any structure in there whatsoever. I just built a platform and then I put the inlay, whatever you're using, in there. And you can see there is no nail on there whatsoever. It is extremely thin. So we're going to go back to the Jimmy Gel. Now we're going to build, hence it's called Jimmy Building Base Gel. So we're going to get them as much on the brush as we can get on there. I'm not going to get rid of it. And I'm going to start as I would even I'm dropping an acrylic bead or gel in this case. And I'm just sliding up to and I'm pushing it in and I'm just going back and forth. And now I'm going to start to build the apex. This is the best way to build a gel nail. I love this method. some more. I'm going to take off right where I left off. When you're building gel, one advantage is gravity. It does work for gel nails. I don't advise it with acrylic because if you're using gravity with acrylic, that means your bead is running and your bead, that means you're not in control of your bead. But with gel, you can use the gravity a little bit to your advantage. And that's what I will do when I come to this part, just getting a little bit in the arch there, taking it up from that part. And then I can sort of hold it upside down a little. Okay. gravity okay when you think you got it right just go under for a nuke and then when you bring it out you sort of you can take the paper off at this point that's what I'm gonna do as soon as it comes out so now you can take off the form oh my that that really is very clear that's quite beautiful Wow. Okay. So you want to remove that dispersion layer. Just get a little bit of your cleanser or alcohol, whatever you're using. Wow. And now I'm going to file. Get yourself a good set of files. By the way, I want to say this is not a sponsored video. I purchased all this stuff because I do love this company and I wanted to try this. So I bought it myself. So when you file, get a good set of professional files. And the reason why I say pro is because they are so good. Professional files are so good. And you want to be able to file it. And that's one thing I do love about gel is that it files up quite nicely. You can do it by all by hand. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and sculpt this up. In their new P Plus collection, some of the colors are gorgeous. I bought the big collection that includes the lamp because I wanted them to go together. I found this beautiful blue. Well, I found five beautiful bright colors, and that's what I'm going to use. 
I find they're very thin, but highly pigmented, very easy to put on, and I have the feeling there's a nail technician strongly behind this because the applicator is incredible, meaning it is so thin and tiny and it really gets into all the little corners that you need to when you're applying gel polish. So I'm just going to put this on. I'm reversed by hand as you can see backwards because I'm trying to do a French, the bed of it. I'm trying to make it French. So I'm going to, I think that's where I'm going to leave it at right there. I'm going to flip it back around and I'm going to do the cuticle. So you can see I'm just sort of sticking with French. And it's so such a strong pigment, actually. I really don't need a ton of it on there. So I'm actually taking some off. Beautiful. I love that. And I'm just going to work with one right now. I'm going to go ahead and nuke that. And just to double check for you, I believe these are 30 seconds. When you're painting on a design like this, I always have a brush ready to go with some alcohol in it to sort of clean up the edges. I didn't really need, really need to use this brush simply because that one worked really well. Okay, so now I have a tiny little brush and I'm gonna use their black gel. I'm gonna put a little bit on the edge of my tile. You probably can't see that. No. Let me bring that into the frame so you can see it. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna switch glasses because I want a little bit more detail. I'm gonna paint like a French smile line in black right next to the blue. Did you notice that I only used one coat of the blue? And I'm actually quite happy with it. I'm not gonna say that every color, there's nothing wrong with the polish if, you, if it doesn't do that in one coat. I'm just saying the pigment on this is so strong, I only needed one coat. Now I'm just painting a French line. Get to get your brushes out of the way when you go into the light. Okay, so cameraman, I have a question. What's that? Should we top coat it now or at the end? What we could do is um, you do the other nails and then we do a final top coat quick. Oh, I want to see what it looks like so bad. Right now? Yeah. Okay, well. Really yeah. impatient. Pretty. That is really cool. Who knew poppy seeds would look so good? Wow, that is clear, eh? Oh, yeah. Look at that. They definitely it lived up to that. What's that? It glistens. It's amazing. Wow, okay. I'm going to do the other ones, but I am going to do them all in a different bright color. So I'm gonna to top coat them, but I just have to note before I do that, the frosted tips look really pretty too. I could have had a mat underneath to cause that sort of frosted look before I shiny them up. I like the frosted, but we're gonna to top coat them. And I do find, just as a pro tip that I've learned over the years, using the same top coat that's compatible with the gel that you're using is an advantage. If you have any issues, uh, it might be because you're using a different top coat. Some top coats don't go with the gel that you put underneath. Now, having said that, if you're really wanting to use whatever top coat you're using, you can remove the dispersion layer and that might solve the problem being able to use a different brand.
Wow. I like that. That is pretty. Very interesting looking, actually. Yeah. This is really different. I haven't seen you do this. I'm just going to nuke it. And you know what I forgot to do? Oh, yeah. I always forget that. I don't yeah. remember until the end, <laughs> which might be too late. It's to remind me, to remind you. When you subscribe, press that little bell so then you'll get notifications every time we upload, which is once a week. Okay, so I'm just gonna put some oil on, but I think we should take a look at the reveal pictures. Take a look. You can see the puppies very clearly. This is one of the clearest uh, gels I've ever worked with and hardly any bubbles. And I'm good at gel, but I'm not an expert. And I usually get a little more bubbles. Either I'm getting better at it and a combination of a really good product. I love doing the nail art too. Nice bright colors. If you're interested in ink, which is one of my favorite videos I've ever done, check this build out with gel that I use, but with the ink, almost like flowers. Tell me what you think. Check it out.